the macro level, the big challenges, of course, are to do with climate change, planetary sustainability, um, continued population growth and our ability to feed uh, the people. And they're to do with um, the rise of uh, insecurity, terrorism and other things. The world is rebalancing, new regions are emerging, other regions are experiencing crises. We have a new global map of wealth and a new global map of trade and connectivity. So new infrastructures are emerging all of the time. And then at the local level, what we know is that the world is going through a huge cycle of urbanization that uh, in the countries of the north and the west the cities are repopulating at least all the big cities are in the countries of the south and the east rapid urbanization means that big cities are growing medium-sized cities are growing small cities are growing the key challenge for city government is to acquire the coordination powers in the metropolitan areas where the big population groups are happening so that services and infrastructures can be delivered to a growing population at the metropolitan level. Metropolitan management systems in housing, in transport, in land use, in healthcare, in environmental management, in waste, in energy production, these have become the essential services to manage this process of urbanization. So we need metropolitan competence for this to work. At the national level, it seems to me that the national role is transitioning and what we need much more is a set of national uh, governments that are better at helping a system of cities within a nation work together. Most nations have more than one city that matters and so rather than focusing attention on national urban policies where the same policy is supposed, supposed to work for all cities, it would be better to have a way to customize the policies but also to link the cities better together so that they can learn from and share with each other. The role of the citizen has become much more important. We have the technologies today and we have mobility amongst the citizen population that they're able to make much more informed choices about how they travel, uh, where they live, where they buy their food, what they eat, uh, how they educate young people. And these things are really important now to urban management. So having, I don't really believe in smart cities, but I believe in smart citizens very much. And I think that smart citizens um, are the critical third ingredient now in the governance of cities.